I'm going to make some five hour or crock pot beef stew. It's really easy. The only thing it does take is a lot of time. That makes it perfect for crock pot cooking. Start out with some beef stew meat and we'll go from there. First we start out with a third of a cup of flour. Dump that in a plastic bag and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. This is going to make the dredge. Shake it up to mix it. And then you put in the stew meat. Get it all in there. And start shaking it up and breaking the meat apart. That's to coat the meat with flour for dredging it. Get it all thoroughly coated and let it set and rest about 10 minutes. Okay, in the meantime, I've put about a third of a cup of oil in the skillet here. Now, you notice that I am putting the same amount of oil as flour, each a third of a cup of each, because that's the mixture you need to make gravy. Move the meal around so it'll start cooking. Break any pieces apart that are stuck together. I'm going to need to pre-cook this until you get a nice crust on the outside of the meat of flour and seasoning. You need to turn this occasionally as it cooks and be sure it browns on all sides. Okay, let's start put, putting this puppy together. First thing we want in the bottom is some onions. And some garlic. Nice spoonful or so. And a couple, three bay leaves. There we go. Now I want to start moving the meat over in on top of that. Looks like it's going to be just about the right amount. You want the crock pot about half full of meat. And 
Now pour off the surplus oil. Only a couple, three spoons of it. And now we deglaze the skillet with a cup of coffee. And you wanted to ask why. It doesn't do much for the flavor, but it gives the gravy a great color. And a squirt or two of W sauce. And just go around in there, rake up all the good goodies off the bottom. Okay, we've got this boiling pretty well here. Now we want to add a layer of carrots on top of the meat. Just cut them in good bite-sized pieces. Nothing special about how you cut up carrots. Then on top of them, you go in with diced or chunked up tomato, potato. So it's just about full there. Next you want a can of V8 juice or, at, or tomato juice will do. Actually if you don't have either of those, well tomato sauce works fine. It just gives it a great flavor. <clears throat> and finally, needs just a little bit more liquid. So I'll just use warm water. And we'll put this puppy on the cook to cook. Okay, and we'll set the crock pot to high to get it going. There it is on high. And it's going to take about four hours that way. One of the main things though is using that hot liquid on there starts you out about an hour ahead of time on the cooking. <laughs> 